Hi guys and welcome back to JavaScript Playground. In this video, we will talk about regular expressions. Let's start with what is regular expression. A regular expression is an object that describes a pattern of characters. It allows us to search for specific patterns of text. Basically, it allows us to define a certain pattern and this pattern is used by some functions to check whether a given string matches the pattern or not. So for example, you want to check whether a given string is a valid email or not, or you want to check that an entered username should only contain alphabets and numbers, etc., etc. It can also be used to find and or replace parts of strings based on certain patterns. In this video and the coming videos, we will talk all about regular expressions. Regular expression is not a JavaScript specific concept. It is available in other programming languages as well, like Java, Python, etc. So first we will learn about regular expressions in general, and then we will learn how to use them in JavaScript. This is the syntax to define a pattern. Forward slash, pattern string, forward slash, and flags. So the pattern string is where you define what string this pattern should match. The forward slash represents the start and end of the pattern string. Flags are used to define whether you want the search to be case insensitive or case sensitive, or whether you want the search to stop when first result is found, or you want to keep searching even after the first result is found. So let's begin. I have opened this website called regex101. And once you open this website, you have to select a flavor. So over here, I'm gonna select ECMAScript JavaScript flavor. I'm coming back here. Now, in this top box, I can write my pattern string. And in the second input box, I can give the string against which I want my regex to match. So I have got a string here. Let's copy paste it. Let's say we want to check if the string has the word smooth inside it. And as you can see, the word smooth is here. Now let's try to check it using regular expression. So we can simply write smooth here. And as you can see, it shows one match, a full match of smooth. And this smooth is highlighted in the string. Also, if you're wondering why we did not use the forward slash, it is because the stop box already has these forward slashes. So if you see here, so before this string that we've written and after this string. So that's why we don't need to write them at least when we're working in this website. Similarly, we can check if this string contains the word pen inside it. So instead of the smooth, we would write pen. And as you can see, it's just returning one result, pen, the first one. But we've got another word, pen, over here. So why is that? By default, the regular expression returns when the first occurrence is found. But to find all the occurrences, we need to use the global flag. So for that, you can simply write forward slash and G. But in this scenario, we can select this drop down and select the first one, which is global. So as you can see, after this forward slash, a G is visible. And now as you can see, both these words are getting matched. So what this global flag does is, it checks the entire string to find all the occurrences of the word pen, and it does not stop once the first one is found. Also, if you notice, we've got a third word also, which says pen, but that is not getting selected even after using this global flag. So the reason it is not returning the last one is because by default, the search is case sensitive, which means small a is not equal to capital A. To make the search case insensitive, we can use another flag called insensitive. So it would be forward slash i. So in this case, we can simply click on this drop down and select insensitive. So as you can see here in the flags, I've got g and i, so global as well as insensitive. And as you can see here, now we've got all three matching. 
So even the third one is getting matched. And that's a wrap for today. I hope this gave you a better understanding of regular expressions and different flags. But if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Twitter. I'll add my Twitter handle in the description below. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.